many a morning. I'll tell you one thing. There's just, there's so much going on. <laughs> I don't know what it is when I tell someone I am flying out to film from this date to this date that they're still like, can we do a meeting the morning after you fly in at 9.15 in the morning, which is 8.15 Texas time? And I'm like, no, I fly in pretty late. Could we do any later than that? Like, I don't Plus, I told them too. While I'm currently not scheduled to be on set Tuesday, that could change. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm also really struggling to understand why we're actually having this meeting. Why are we having this meeting? There is really nothing to update on. There's nothing to update on. Why are we having this Other meeting? Other news, it's pouring, which I'm fine with. Um, I am not meeting my coworker for dinner tonight. We are instead doing a virtual dinner. Basically, we're both gonna eat whatever we want and hop on and eat together at seven, cause why not? <sighs> um, I've gotta make some tweaks to the Not Your Average Rom-Com trailer. So I'm hoping to do that this morning uh, before I start work. There's just, there's so much, there's so much going on. <laughs> of course, it's also while I'm sick. Of course that's happening while I'm sick. Um, I'm feeling better this morning than I did yesterday morning, um, and I feel like the sinus pressure has gone down a lot, and I don't have the fatigue, which is great. Anyway, so my plan, I've also, because of this meeting I'm supposed to have on Tuesday, which I guess the other thing that frustrates me is I told them, yes, I'm gonna try to have that list of film festivals for you guys before I leave on the 3rd. So yes, it is April 1st right now, but they also told me that the film likely wouldn't be ready until April 8th or 9th. So if they have the film ready earlier, I'm like, but that's not the original timeline that we talked about. Same thing with like the Aces rewrites right now. Like we had talked about like, a month to a month and a half to get them and I was like that's really great guys because April is an insane month for me and then now all of a sudden they're like can you send us an up oh, this was a few days ago they're like can you send us an update on what's happening so we can send it to the producer and I'm like you've already talked to the producer and told her that it would be like a month or so we've already talked about this like why are these timelines changing in the month that I am telling you guys this month is insane. I don't understand. I have laundry in, um, and sorry, I know the beginning of this vlog is already really long with my tangent, but it's okay. That's the one thing I was just thinking to myself, you know, when things, when things get crazy and things are crazy, it's one thing when, they're not so great things, right? When you feel like you're kind of, drowning is a bit of a dramatic word here, but you know what I mean, right? You feel like you're, you're, like you're, like you're drowning and it's for not good things. But it's a completely other thing when you have that feeling and it's all good things. It's all things that you want to be happening. And so you almost feel, at least for me, you almost feel guilty. And you're like, why, why am I feeling like this? Isn't this what I wanted? And it's like, yeah, but I wanted a little bit of balance for it, you know? Also, those are all my receipts for taxes and stuff. But I just don't know what to do with them right now because they're done. They're all, like, uploaded and stuff. Um, anyway, I've got my laptop. I have, like, 25 minutes until I start work. Also, yes, I'm aware my hair looks gross. I'm going to be taking a shower. Oh, and there's all these receipts on the ground. I'll start work in just about 20 minutes. So I need to make these changes to the trailer, which this shouldn't take long, but got clothes in the washer and then I need to eat right. breakfast. Finish that, sent that off. So um, 
hopefully that will be good. <sighs> Five minutes until I start work. I'm just hoping it goes the well. New today. All Ears video that's premiering today. It's gonna be very fun to watch. I've got the countdown going while I work. It's 3.13, so I'm still working. I gotta say a few things. One, the wind today is wild, <laughs> but it's a beautiful day outside. Number two, imagine my surprise. When I walk this morning, I saw what seemed to be a dead roach in my bathtub. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll just pick that up later. Well, I haven't been back there for a while. So I go back there real quick and I see a roach on my wall. So I was like, well, let me grab the spray, killed it. And that's when I went into my bathroom then and I realized that the one that I had thought was dead was not there anymore. <laughs> so I do not think it was actually dead. So I'm kind of mad that I didn't kill it earlier, but you know. Anyway, right. it's dead now. It's 5.11. I have finished work and put in my hours for the week. I have a virtual dinner with my friend slash mentor from work, Kelly, because we are not meeting in person. I have decided I'm going to order something. I'm not going to order something yet. I'm going to order it at like 6, 6.15 or so. Um, because that's the whole thing is she's deciding what she wants to get. I'm going to decide what I want to get. Um, anyway, but work, the work of the day is not over because now that I'm thankfully feeling much better, hang on, I need to work on the festival list for the thing that I was hired on, the short film that I was hired on to help with the festival list for. That's the one that I was saying this morning that I was like, well, like they've sent me the finished film, but they originally didn't think they would have it done until like the 8th or the 9th. And I told them that I would have some anyway, but I need to do that now anyway. So as I said, it's like 512 now, I'm gonna take a shower later tonight. Right now, I know my hair looks gross, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to wash it right now because I don't want to be doing that with like wet hair. Anyway, um, also since it's April, I've started getting all of these emails about like my birthday freebies for this month. And I'm determined to use as many of them as possible because that's the thing is so many times I forget and I don't want to let them go to waste. So like, for example, I've already, I have a free entree at Tindrum, which is my favorite thing ever, favorite place ever. I have a $3 off a Brewster's ice cream. That one I'm a little less like, do I need to use it? I have a free dozen at Krispy Kreme. I think that one I might get on Monday and bring it in to work because um, I do not need a dozen all myself. And maybe that can be a little way that I'm like, hey, it's going to be a crazy week for you guys. Here are some donuts. Um, I have 15% off for um, Aeropostale, like AE, that one I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to use that. I have a free 20 ounce smoothie at Smoothie King. For, not for my birthday, but since I signed up a year ago, I have 1500 points added to my Firehouse Subs one, but I should get something for my birthday too. And then I have five free pan coins from IHOP and one pan coin equals one, I think five pancakes. It says here that three pan coins can be traded for three pancakes. That's more what I would do because I don't think I can eat five pancakes. Um, I don't even know if I can eat three. But anyway, that's a fun little breakfast thing right there. So yeah, and they'll just hopefully keep coming 6 in. 622. I have successfully completed the list of 19 festivals the first list I should say because I they'll probably want to submit to more than this but they just said to start out to do 15 to 20 I went from the list that they sent me most of those were not open anymore and they won't be open for many months so I didn't include those but then I did some research on my own of academy award qualifying ones that are focused in the U.S. which that's what they said they wanted to focus on more sent that off so that is a huge thing that is off my plate. I told them I would have it done before I left for filming and I went and I do. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so glad that did not take a super long time. But anyway, it's 6.22. I need to order my food so it'll get here before my virtual dinner with Kelly. I cannot tell you how relieved I am. Oh my I God. I went with Chipotle because when do I not? Um, Hopefully it will get here literally right before we start, which I mean, it's fine if it doesn't. Also, remember the burn? Remember the remember the burn that I got on my arm? It is 
looking kind of nasty. <laughs> just a bit. Just so a our tiny. virtual dinner was very fun. It's like 8.30 now, so it was like an hour and a half that we talked. So that was fun. Um, I did see Salt today, but Salt came by twice, but I don't know if she ate very much. Which I'm a little worried about because I'm going to have to make sure that she's okay with that food. Not that it... Um, like, if it doesn't make her sick or something. Um, anyway, yes, my Chipotle was good. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do now that I don't want to go to bed super late because there's, you know, stuff happening. Um, like, there's, I have to go to church tomorrow. That's what I meant. Um, well, hello. So, I don't know. I don't really want to play any of my video game right now. But I've done a lot of work. Oh, I need to shower. That's what I got to do. I'm going to go do that right I'm now. I'm having such an interesting emotion right now. I... Hang on. I got to put my thoughts together. I always struggle a little bit whenever I have to go out of town and leave Nola. Just because I get so worried about her and if she's gonna be okay um and ultimately she is she's fine but it just it strikes me as very interesting that I almost find myself not wanting to travel, not wanting to have to leave, and not to say break the routine that we have here, but not wanting to have to leave her alone, even if it means to go do something exciting like filming. And usually, like, once I get to wherever I'm going, it's fine. I'm not thinking about her every second and things like that, and I know that she's okay. But... I think it's just that I prefer to be home overnight, especially like that, like overnight is a big thing for me because I don't know why I just, Nola's always fine, thankfully, at least as far as I know when I have to go out of town, but I just, I feel so much guilt and anxiety when I'm first like leaving. So, and that hasn't gone away. It's been what, four years, three and a half years that we have been together hasn't gone away anyway um I should say that we have lived together been in each other's lives so I'm going to bed thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed all my social media is in the description love you all